Hello folks and welcome back to Shogun Total War. I am Kana Step and this is going to be part 21 of my Ascent Goku Jedi campaign where I'm playing as Clan Yusugi. And it has been a while. I just got back from a vacation last night. I've been gone for... Well, vacation itself was, you know, was two weeks and before that I think I recorded my last video like maybe four days before I went on vacation. So it's been a while since I've been into either game, Shogun or Medieval. So I'm just kind of going right in raw dog in this one. I haven't practiced. I haven't gone into a custom battle just to make sure I remember anything. I, I just opened up this campaign. It should be a good campaign to uh, remind you know remind myself of how to play this game because I'm the only clan left. It's just me versus the rebels. So it's seam rolling time. There's not going to be too many episodes. I wouldn't imagine there'd be too many episodes after this one. Honestly, I should just go pretty quickly at this point. And uh, yeah, this campaign shouldn't last too much longer. Now I did, so yeah, moving on. Um, Kawachi is going to fall this turn. These castles here in Tamba and Tajima are going to fall in two turns. However, I do have enough forces so that I can just refit my armies, my fighting armies, and continue to send them forward. My Daimyo's army hasn't taken, he didn't have to fight for Harima at all, so he can just go forward. Actually, he should probably hang tight for now, just while well, there's a rebel army here. Um, but I believe I will be able to be able to attack into Awaji this turn. And uh, other than that, I think I'm just going to hang tight here in a Tamba and Tajima, just so I can spend a turn refitting my armies. And yeah, that's probably going to be it. So I'm sure I, I'm sure I have a bit of money. Yeah. So what? Twelve thousand. Yeah, twelve thousand Koku. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. So I'm going to take a look at my buildings, see what I want to build, and yeah, just make sure that my troops. Uh, I'm going to keep training up soldiers, of course, and I will keep training up ninjas as well. Just maybe I can, maybe I can use them to make these castles fall a little bit faster. So I am going to be able to keep teching up my. Troop producing facilities, and now I'm not holding anything back. Here in Itachi, I'm just going for that legendary armory for that plus three armor. The golden palace for the plus two morale, and then swordsmith, because why not? Why not get some attack on my uh, Yari Samurai? And then, yeah, Sagami kind of doing the same thing. Legendary Orstojo, legendary palace for that plus three morale. Swordsmith, this is all for my Yari Cav that are being trained in Sagami. Shinano's probably pretty good, although, let's see... Yeah, let's get a Golden Palace and then a famous armory there. Yeah, other than that, though, I think I'm looking pretty good here. Yeah, I'm still... I don't have a Geisha house yet. Oh, man, I kind of forgot. I thought that I had, a, I thought I had one by now, but I guess I don't need one anymore because the Rebels, uh, from, as far as I know, they don't actually train Geishas. So, that's good. Um, and Iga. Iga does have a the innate province bonus for ninjas, giving them plus one honor, so... I am working on getting a ninja dojo going here in Iga. And then Yamashiro, I forgot about them. Yeah, I do want to start training Spearmen here in Yamashiro because this is the only province that will give a plus one honor to Spearmen. So, yeah, that's all that. Yeah, Kaga, I think, is still... They're going Citadel and Kaga. I wanted to see if there's a third tier Buddhist temple. I can't remember. And, yes, I could just look that up, but I keep forgetting to do that. So, I'm just going to go figure it out the old-fashioned way and... Wait until this citadel gets finished, and then I'll see if there's that third tier Buddhist uh, temple building. Here in Key, I think I'm still working towards getting that Buddhist temple. Yeah, so I can't train Buddhist uh, or warrior monks here in Key. So other than that, I will be attacking here in Awaji, and I think I could attack with my daimyo as well. May as well. I don't think there's anything here, so I can just kind of go here to Bison, take that. I brought um, Yusuke Kenshin up here to Harima to uh, cover down. And I may as well continue to just fill up my my uh, unit queues, my training queues, because why not? Let's just go full in here. Let's just get a bunch of uh, ninja. Well, uh, let's see. I don't think I need that many. Let's just go back and forth on that. Sagami, yeah. Let's just get some more Yari Cav. And I don't need anything here in Kai Shinano. I can do some more cab archers. And let's just get keep getting the archers going here into Tomi. And yeah, keep doing warrior monks here in Kaga. Mino, I don't think I need to train anything here in Mino. Yamashiro, yeah. I'm just going to wait till I can get my spearmen there. Other than that, I feel like I'm doing pretty good here. I'm still retraining 
my archers here in Sado for that armor bonus. Other than that, yeah, it's going to... Going, going all in here, so let's see. Taxes, put that down to very low, and it's still just me and Dad, I think. Yeah, Yusuke Kenshin and then the Daimyo, so there's a younger one, yeah, Yusuke Kagekatsu, but he's going to be quite a ways away. I don't think he'll even become of age by the time this campaign's over. We will see, though. So that's going to be it for this turn, so let's, let's see. I haven't checked this. Yeah, this is all looking good. All looking good. I can bring this... Emissary up, because why not? And let's end this turn. Spirit Dojo is finished here in Yamashiro. Ninja House is finished in Iga. And yeah, Bison is mine without a fight. And Owaji is also mine without a fight. Perfect. And then these castles fell in Tajima and Tamba. And then same here in Kawachi. Wait, these did these castles fall? No, they did not. Okay, I, I read that wrong. So yeah, these still need a turn to fall. And then Kwachi, yeah, Kwachi. I don't think I want to build anything here. Maybe, uh, maybe an exceptional farmland, because the uh, farming farm income here is pretty good. So Yamashiro, yeah. So now I can train up some spearmen here. And what bon what other bonuses do I want to give them? Famous Spear Dojo, so they have that plus two honor with the province uh, bonus and the dojo bonus. That looks good. So yeah, let's do one of those. And um, what else? Um, <laughs> Maybe just keep going dojos. So, yeah, let's just get the fortress after that. And Harima. Let's see, I'm working on a castle there. Bison. I think you don't really need anything. You're all looking good. Sweet. Awesome. And let's see. Can I... Let's see if I can get this army refit, and then if I can, I'll just take them right on into Inaba. And then, yeah, down here I can just kind of go right in. It looks like nothing, looks like this is all empty. So let's just sweep in and take it here, and then take this. That should be good. And yeah, I'm, so, I'm starting to wonder if there is going to be any resistance. Um, that would be a curious thing. There, there has to be some forces, right? I mean, the Shimazu didn't die out with like everything on the front lines. Did they? Did they? Oh, that'd be, that'd be wild. Hmm. Well, let's see. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's get this army sorted out. See if I can attack Inaba right away here. Well, this is going to work out, so I will be able to attack uh, Inaba with a full stack here. Not that I'm going to need it, but it's just, uh, it's something I like to do. I like making sure the armies are all fit and ready to go just in case. So yes, yeah, so I'll be attacking Anaba here and then Tanuki and then Awa. So that is a good three provinces this turn. So without further ado, I don't think there's any any point in uh, dallying. So yeah, let's supposed to end turn. Castle's finished here in Harima and then large castle's finished in Key. So I can start building that B Buddhist temple, I believe. Drill Dojo's finished in Shinano, yes. And Geisha House, <laughs> well, well, a little too late, but you know, it's there now. So, Sunuki is now mine without a fight. Same with Awa. All right. Man, pillaged 1,100 Koku from Awa. And then the rebels did retreat from Anaba. That's to be expected. And yeah, man, pillaged another 1,300 Koku. Cool. And then these castles in Tamba and Tajima have fallen to me. So, yeah, there's just, there's just nothing here. My goodness gracious. Yeah, well, if that's the case, let's just keep pushing. Put a Yusugi Kenshin. Go, go, go. And uh, let's see, let's just hold back for a minute. And Tajima does give a plus one honor bonus for Shinobi. So definitely let's get a tea house going here so I can move my Shinobi production over to Tajima. And then other than that, let's see, can I get that Buddhist temple? Yes, I can. Sweet. Awesome. And now I am training ninjas here in Iga just in case I need... Someone to help me help break into a castle for me, but so I mean to break into a castle I need soldiers defending that castle and so far no one's defending any castles So I'm not gonna really need ninjas at least yet. So we will see though Let's just go on. I mean look no one's here. Io to Tosa. This is bizarre I feel like I've never seen this like this sparsely defended or maybe maybe I've never seen the like this many rebels before you know like, this is a third of the map, just completely rebel-held, so it's <laughs> kind of unfortunate. Oh, well. 
Yeah, let's just keep going. Take uh, Hokey and then... Yeah, take Bichu here. And then just keep moving up all of my reinforcement armies. Let's just keep the indomitable march of the Yasugi clan going here. So let's just press end turn. Famous Spirit Dojo is finished in Yamashiro. Legendary Horse Dojo is finished in Sagami. And yeah, pillaging some more money from Eo. And then Tosa. And then Hoki. Bitchu's mine. And then looks like we are going to get a fight here in Mimasaka. It's not, I mean, it's 224 guys. I don't think there's any point. Yeah, I lost 16 men there. And now Mimasaka's mine. How long before this falls? Uh, it's going to take a year. Uh, man. Okay. See, this is where I want ninjas. Do I have a ninja that's right here? Oh, hey, here's a ninja. Okay. How about you come in here and infiltrate this castle? Open the castle gates, please. Yes. And then just keep moving along. I'm pretty sure I can even keep moving Yusuke Kenshin along at this point. Although, I mean, at this point, the uh, Southern Hanshu becomes a two-province bo two bottleneck, so I, I don't even need a third army. I, c I could just leave him here in Mimasaka if I, if I wanted to until this uh, siege is over, at least. But you know what? I don't, I don't want to do that. I'll send you here. You'll continue the siege. And, yeah, Yusuke Kenshin can keep moving along, so... And yeah, same with uh, all of these armies as well. So just keep moving along. Keep taking, uh, you know, these uh, provinces one by one. So you are fine. And then you, um, you can come up here. And ninja. Where do I want a ninja? I mean, I feel like I don't even... I can bring him up here because I probably am going to need more than one ninja to open these castle gates. Infiltration. Y yes. Do that, please. And... Hmm. Is there anything in Bungo? Like, still nothing, eh? Wow. My goodness. Just a ghost town. It's kind of creepy in here. Well, without further ado... Hmm. Do I want to... Yeah. Let's go. Let's see what they have. And these armies will be coming up in the rear. And... Yeah, at this point in the campaign, I swear. So, like... This is something that people have guessed about for a while, and something that I've guessed about, which is that there might be a hidden bonus to capturing Yamashiro, which is that it gives a uh, population loyalty bonus to the entire map once you own Yamashiro. It's not something that's said anywhere, it's just something that's guessed, been guessed about, because it seems like when you hit a point, typically like halfway through the campaign, population loyalty ceases to become an issue. Um, at least in my case, which I, I know if you look at my if you look at my maps, like yeah, I have Shinobi everywhere. But even in these new, newly conquered territories, like I just took Shino Sunuki, I have no Shinobi there, and then like what are we looking at? Um, you know, 450% population loyalty. A lot of that's accounting for the stack that just got moved from there, but still, like it just seems like population loyalty becomes a non-issue at some point in this campaign. And I really do wonder if that's attributed to a certain hidden bonus coming from Yamashiro. I'm really curious. I really am. So, All right, in any case, let's just keep moving up this Shinobi just to make sure that, you know, make sure that I keep my population loyalty in order. And speaking of that, let's spread the love here as well. Here, here, and there. And pretty soon I will be able to start training up some more shinobi here in Tajima. That's going to be good for me. And let's keep moving these ninjas. Yeah, let's have you come and try to open these gates as well. Alright, I think that's looking good. I think I've moved everyone that I can. I can keep moving up emissaries, I suppose. Just to keep seeing if I can find anyone. And is there anything I can build? Yeah, let's get a castle here in Bichu. And then anything in Bison? I don't think so. And let's see, I'll be taking these territories. Inaba is all set. All right. Waji, one turn away. Sanuki's getting a castle going. 
Tosa. What do I want in Tosa? Port? Yeah, definitely. Let's get, let's get a port in Tosa. And then, I don't think EO needs anything. Yeah, they already have a mine complex, a port. I mean, they're good. They are good to go. So, hmm. Is there anything else that I need right now, I think? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Ooh, almost missed. Did I? Okay, yeah, taxes. All right. Yeah, punitive. Let's do that. And 112%. Yeah, now that's going to be fine. All right, let's end another turn. Castle's been finished here in Sanuki. And then Awaji as well. Tios is finished in Tajima. Legendary Armory is finished in Itachi. And yeah, so my ninja was discovered trying to open up that castle gate. But I have taken Bongo, so that's my first little footstep into Kyushu. And then Izumo has been taken as well. And Bingo was taken as well. Am I just going to like... Am I am I gonna finish this campaign in this this one episode? That's gonna be crazy. Um, hmm. Okay, so yeah, just four more turns before Mimasaka Castle Falls. And good harvest, making 24 grand. Oh my god. <laughs> nice, sweet. Good stuff, good, good stuff. Alright, let's lower taxes by a little bit. Yeah, Tosa is all groovy. Sweet. Now let's move these guys over. And yeah, there, I okay. So I'm just gonna like I'm I'm gonna beat this campaign in this episode. Okay, all right. I actually wasn't expecting that. Wow, I really thought that there was gonna be a little bit of some resistance, but uh, not at all. Like <laughs> these rebels are really not putting up a fight at all. They don't. They, I mean, they they don't even exist. <laughs> the rebels aren't even here. So yeah, this is a uh, kind of spooky. All right, well, the management stuff has been taken care of, so let's just kind of move, keep keep moving along here. Let's just keep pressing and turn. Castle's been finished here in Bichu. Large Castle's finished here in Iga, so now I can get the upgraded Ninja Dojo, I think, or do I need to get a fortress? I can't quite remember. Citadel's finished in Kaga, so now I can see if there is a third tier Buddhist temple. And uh, yeah, so let's see, another ninja failed to open the castle gates. Uzin is now mine without a fight, and then there... Oh, sure, I actually found some rebels. Hey, so there was some rebels here in Awami. Okay, well, cool. And it looks like they actually are starting to train up just a couple soldiers here and here and there. I wonder what took them... Why did, why did it take them, like, a year? I wonder why. Huh. Because, yeah, there was zero soldiers at all. And I know the rebels do train soldiers. I just, it was weird that I took so many territories. Did they not have money? Was that it? Is it because I attacked them like at the beginning of a year and they didn't have a treasury yet? Is that why? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. That's, that's interesting. Like I, you know, you saw that there was just zero soldiers at all. And now, now if you look at these rebel castles, it looks like there is going to be some soldiers uh, that I have to siege out at least. You know, like here, there's someone, and then here. Okay, so they have some Ashigaru here, spearmen. So, really, not much, but you know, it's 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 something. It's just weird that I took pretty much all of this without any fights at all. That was, that was pretty uh pretty spooky for sure. But let's just keep trying to get into this castle. And how long is it going to take anyway? Three turns. Yeah, let's uh, let's see if we can shorten that down to two turns. And Let's see, yeah, I think, um, I think I can just keep, hmm. Let's see, Bungo, man, Bungo has some good stuff here. Battlefield Ninja Dojo, that'd be cool. I'm not really, you know, using those in this campaign, but Battlefield Ninja Dojos, they're, uh, yeah, it's a cool unit to use for sure. So I think at this point, let's do, let's bring you up to Shikuzen, and then let's start building a castle here in Busan, and then... Hmm. Get a port going here in Bichu. And anything else? Is there anything else I want to build? Nothing there. Nothing here. What about a key? They already have the mine complex. Good for them. And yeah, working on that port here in Arima. That looks good. Oh yeah, let's look at that. See if there's a third tier Buddhist temple. Is there? Yeah, there is. Okay, so there's a temple that gives plus two honor for warrior monks, which in addition to the 
you know, plus one honor from the Kaga, that's going to be crazy. That's It's too bad that I'm not going to be using those guys into any, you know, actual battles, because that'd be just awesome to use some honor three warrior monks. I even tried. I tried to, you know, not <laughs> kill, kill all my enemies. I didn't want this to happen. I wanted there to be a good fight here at the end. And, uh, yeah, just, you know, sometimes you, sometimes you can't do that. Sometimes the enemy just really wants to die. So that's this seems to be a case of that. So in any case, we're going to keep moving along here. Well, that's going to be another turn. So let's take another three more provinces here. And this turn, exceptional farmlands finished here in Kawachi. And then, yeah, my ninja still can't get into this freaking castle. My god, yes, two. My oh my. And yes, let's see, got some uh, Gachikus in here. And then the generals are trying to retreat from Nagato. That's not going to work out well for them. Because they're cut off. And yeah, so, I mean, again, like, I just, it's not, it's not worth the time fighting it, I don't think, honestly. 240 men versus my full stack. Yeah, lost 14 guys. Kill us some money here in Swole. And then, yeah, Mimasaka's going to be another two turns before this castle falls. And how long before this castle falls? So four turns? Okay, well, hmm. Two turns for that. And then, yeah, four turns. Let's start switching my ninjas on over to Suo and try to see if they have any better luck getting into this one. 70% chance. I mean, I think if I sent enough ninjas, they would get the job done, but that does not seem to be the case so far. Keep covering down with my shinobi, and hmm, I think what I can do here is move you into Heisen, you here to Chikuzen, and then you here to Buzen. You hang out here in Bungo until I have enough, you know, armies to sweep down into southern Kyushu. And yeah, man, we're this is a this is moving along very, very quickly, very quickly indeed. So let's just keep moving. Moving these stacks along, you can actually come down here, and then Yasuki Kenshin, you can come down here to Bungo as well, and let's see, is there anything else? This is my damaged guys. You can just kind of come over here, and let's see, Tajima, you bring a shinobi there. That looks good. Everyone else still super, super happy, even though I'm just, you know, taking these newly, newly conquered lands and the belong to rebels and everything, but yep, no, everyone's uh, super happy about it. So, it looks like Japan is ready to be unified, and yeah, looking at the year 1560, it's going to be quite a quite a bit earlier than this happened historically. So, go me, right? So, I think let's see, that's all looking good. Let's just end this another turn. Castles finished here in Buzin, ports finished in Harima, Buddhist temples finished in Ki, and then Golden Palace has been finished here in Shinano. And then, hey, so one of my ninjas actually finally uh, got into one of the castles. So, let's see, your ninja successfully opened the gates, allowing your troops entry under the cover of dark. It was a great victory with only minor casualties taken. Sweet. And then, yes, so the rebels are retreating from Heisen. And then, my, my lands are the happiest in all of Japan. No, no shit. <laughs> No kidding. So yeah, three turns before this castle here in Sewell Falls, and then... Alright, sweet. So... So, of course, I'm gonna have to fight a river battle, and I'm probably just gonna auto-resolve that, because screw screw that. At this point in the campaign, screw that. I don't, don't, don't feel like it. And... Yeah, three turns before that falls. Here in Harima, I can... Let's see... So they only have the first tier mine, so if I get up to a fortress, I can get that mine complex for some more money here in Harima. Other than that, though, I mean, things are looking pretty good. Hmm. I can start training some more monks here at Key, but again, I don't think these guys are going to come into play at all. And if I wanted to get some upgrades for my warrior monks, what would they be? An upgraded Buddhist temple? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Again, I'm probably not going to be get a chance to use it, but why not? Hey, this is actually pretty interesting. I just realized this. It looks like, so in Mimasaka, this is the province where this ninja, ninja was actually able to get into this castle. And so as the message said, you know, he was able to open the gates 
and I was able to get in with minimal casualties. However, it looks like it actually did simulate that on my army. I did take a little bit of attrition, not much, you know, but my units lost, you know, a couple guys here or there during that attack, which of course was simulated. Cool stuff. I actually didn't know that that was the case because there is no siege attrition for the siegers in Shogun. So I know this must have came from that uh, assault, which was, you know, simulated. I didn't know that. Cool. Now I know. <laughs> I mean, I probably didn't know that because I very, very rarely am able to get a ninja to succeed in doing that. That's probably why, but now I know. So let's see if I can come over here and try to speed things up here. Infiltration, 50%. Hey, that's a... like those chances. And yeah, you're already doing that. And let's get some more ninjas coming over here to this castle. Taxes up to punitive, and let's end another turn here. Making 33 grand, nice stuff. Port is finished here in Tosa. Tajima's getting that large castle going. Fortress is finished here in Yamashiro. And Hyuga is now mine without a fight. Rebels are retreating from Shikugo. Interesting, I thought they would try to defend the river province, but that's not gonna be the case. So I get the river province for free. And then yeah, average harvest making 33 grand, not bad. And the po still with the Portuguese, eh? Yeah, I guess so. I kind of thought that I would talk to be talking to the Dutch by now, but I guess not. Do they show up at 1560? Is that it? Oh yeah, I just I just press yes. Okay, I don't. Th I meant to press no because I don't really care about the Portuguese. Large Lord, I bring you greeting from the Holy Father and His uh, Majesty King Jan of Portugal. Nah, I'm good, man. Just show me your message so that we can get uh, out of here. I didn't mean to press the S. That was a mistake on my end. I don't think I can get out of here until he's finished talking. Yeah, he's uh, going to talk. Yeah, decline uh, decline this one. The one true God would not be with you. You might see things differently when your enemies have strength. Yeah, no shit. I mean, my, my enemies. Yeah, I know. It's going to be crazy when these two rebel provinces turn to Christianity and smite me. That's going to be just bananas. So... Let's uh let's get a move on. Let's uh get down here and oh, well okay, there's actually a little something here. There's actually a little something here in Higo and Setsuma. So hmm. Hmm. <laughs> That's cool. That's maybe um if I can flush them down. Or flush them down. <laughs> if I can flush them out, maybe I can get a battle here in one of these provinces. We will see. And let's just keep moving you guys down here. Yusuke Kenshin can come down here to Osumi. And maybe we can get a an actual battle here in Tetsuma. It won't be much, but it'll just be a handful of units, but might a, might actually be worth, you know, doing. Well, it is winter time, so let's get these taxes down to very low, and I think that's gonna be it. I think I'm good to go here. So everyone's moved up. I will be attacking, as I said, Higo and Osumi. And Let's get a move on here. So port's finished here in Tanuki. Same in Awaji, Hitachi. Golden Palace has been finished. And yeah, Ninja still can't get into that goddamn castle. Okay, well. And yeah, Sumi is now mine. And then they did retreat from Higo. Good, that's what I wanted to see. And then one more turn before this castle falls here in Suo. So it doesn't really matter if the Ninjas get in anyway. So we're actually going to get just a teensy weensy little bit of a battle. Actually, yeah, they're going to have a 10, 10 units, maybe 13, if they get another turn to train up here. And you know what? They actually have an Aginata Cav and a couple of Nodachi Samurai. So this is going to be it. This is this is all I get here. I will be bringing Yusuke Kenshin. His army is just a teensy weensy banged up. I mean, nothing too crazy. He just lost a few guys in a auto resolve battle from a couple years ago. So I never bothered to replenish them because... At this point, I'm just getting a little bit lazy. So let's get in here. Let's finish up this army here in Satsuma. And that should be it for uh, this campaign. I keep, you know, for all the times I've played this campaign, I can't remember if I actually have to finish the Siege of the Last Province. I don't think I do, but I can't remember. So, I mean, I guess there's no point in any in really uh, spending any more time here. So let's just kind of press and turn and get, get, um, get moving on. So Castle's finished here. Bichu has a port that's finished, and then Famous Tea House is done in Tajima, Fortress in Iga, Temple Complex in Kaga, Legendary Palace in Sayakami, and yes, my ninja died. Yes, okay, so 944 versus 601 of their guys. Let's fight a battle here. 
All right, well, first things first in Satsuma to try to race up this volcano that's right in the middle of this map. Actually, let's send my light cab over there and try to claim this. I can even send my general up as well. And I believe this actually is supposed to represent a volcano because if you kind of look up there, I can't really show you right now, but there's actually kind of a dip in the middle of that little hill right there. And I, I, I think there's a volcano actually in Satsuma province in Japan. I I mean, I know that's not a crazy guess because I think there's a couple of volcanoes in Japan, but I think that, is, isn't there one? Oh, I don't know. I I thought there was a reason why this was put here. I thought that this was to actually, you know, be because, yeah, it's a little dip. It's like a little volcano up there, right? It's kind of cool. Um, this is one of those situations where when defending, you probably should possibly maybe take this hill right off the beginning. But the AI seems to like to, you know, defend this hill in the rear, and that is totally fine. I'm just going to do things one step at a time, get up on top on this volcano first, and then go from there. Oh damn, they got a Kensai up there. Okay, well, he's going to be pretty annoying to remove if he's going to hide in the woods, because one of the best ways to get rid of him is to shoot arrows with him and at him, and if he's going to hide in the, in the woods, that's going to... Be kind of annoying, but you know what? I do have three units of warrior monks. I'm pretty sure they can make, you know, short enough work of him. And it looks like they do have some units hiding on that side of the forest as well. Interesting plan. Okay. And what do they got here? Yeah, Nodachi Samurai General. And I'm pretty sure they do have another unit of Nodachi Samurai somewhere. So, I'm going to have to keep an eye out for them. Looks like they do want to skirmish with my light cav down here. That's fine. That's just going to give me some time to get my infantry. Yeah, these guys are... I feel like they are slow. You guys need to get your butts up on this hill so that we can get a good position. If we can kind of draw them towards us, that'd be great. Fighting from a downhill uh, position from the top of this volcano would be pretty good for us. But yeah, it looks like they want to get back a little bit. Oh yeah, those not getting out of calf can be pretty deadly. I will have to be careful of them. I am seeing two units of Yari calf, so I have to be a little bit careful of that. But I do, I am tempted, I really am tempted to come out here and uh, skirmish a little bit. It'd be really, really cool to kind of get them to come fight on my terms. That'd be kind of neat. And they don't have too much in the way of ranged. I think they only have like one archer, I think. And that archer is off in, those, in, the, in the forest over there. So yeah, it looks like they're going to be uh, kind of moving back, which I'm, uh, yeah, kind of bums me out. I would really like to get them to pull forward into an engagement here. That'd be kind of cool. But that looks like that's not going to be the case. So if that's not going to be the case, I wonder, actually, can I get some pot shots with my cav archers on this side? That'd be cool. They have started to take some pot shots at my cav down on this side, but you know what? That's okay. I think if I can get some shots on, on their Nodachi Samurai, that'd be good for me. And I want to keep an eye on this side as well. Can I get some shots? Let's see. Can I stay back a little bit? So yeah, let's not get sucked in. Let's make sure we kind of re retreat from that. And let's see, not getting out of cav. Looks like they might be coming down here, so let's just retreat on this side as well. All right, you guys need to really start need to start running here. You guys are. All right, so not getting out of cav are coming in pretty hot. So let's get cav archers there, and then Yuri cav off to the side. And yeah, let's see if we can get an engagement with my spears on there. Now, get out of camp. That would be good for me. And my cav archers can turn around and start shooting. Let's see. Or if we just want to get an engagement like this, I'll take a charge with my Yari cav into their Naginata cav. And then my warrior monks can come help out. And we should win that engagement there. That should go well, I think. And then what about on this side? Let's move up my infantry like so, and then my cav like that. Let's see, Nagi Nata Cav looks like, uh, they, yeah, it looks like they're trying to disengage, but you know, my warriors are hot in pursuit. And then what about here, Nodachi Samurai? Nice if I get some shots in on them. Actually, I can. Let's just move my cav archers up and start shooting at them. And then let's move the center of my army up like so. Move my general right here. And then, yeah, let's see if I can start getting shots in on those Nachi Samurai. I can not a cap, still fighting. Really fighting hard here, yeah. 
even though they're pretty much down to nothing. And oop, oop, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. <laughs> Guys, you need to, you need to get out of there. Spears are gonna help out there. And then let's have my Yari Calf turn around and engage. Ooh, okay, Warrior Monks, all right, Warrior Monks can fight there, no doubt you Samurai. Cam Archers need to get back here. And then, do I need help here? I don't think I do. Yari Cav should lose to my Spears and my Yari Cav as well, is what I'm thinking. Warrior Monks are beating their General down, so that's gonna go well for me as as well. And then, yeah, Spears, ooh, ooh, this, uh, yikes. <laughs> You guys need to get away, caught it just in time. Yari Cav, ooh, ooh, man, they're getting all the good engagements on this side. So I need to run away. Enemy General is running away. And yeah, you go there, you go there. And then yeah, Cav Arch turn around. And then Yari Cav, no, no, fight here, fight here. Don't fight here, don't go after the infantry. Help out your cavalry, brethren. Come on, there we go. Get a nice charge in. And hopefully we do, we'll be able to wrap up that unit of Cav Archers. They're gonna die, they're gonna die. And they're gonna die. All right. So I think the only things left is gonna be that Kensai in the forest. And I think there is a unit of archers there as well. Oh come on, we are gonna win this, right? I mean, they're gonna kill most of my cav archers, but I should at least win this still. I think. I think so. Well, they've broken my cav archers. My oh my! There's only two yari cav left, and they've broken my cav archers. Now we did get a little sandwich with their Yari their Yari Samurai. They're still fighting, by the way. My oh my, that's a Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Let's see if I can rally these cav archers and if I can rally them and then shoot, shoot, th shoot them. Come on. Shoot them. Get them. Nope. <laughs> can you win? Can you beat these guys? It's nine versus two. You got this. I believe in you. Yari Cav, go help them help them out. Help out your buddies. And then let's bring over my left flank over here because yeah, I'm pretty sure there's that this uh, this lone Kensai, which is pretty epic if you think about it. It's just this last guy that I have to kill, I think. Maybe there's gonna be a unit in there as well. Here we go. This is the final showdown. There's a unit of archers and there's that Kensai as well. And look at him, he's just strutting forward. He's like, yes, I can do this. I can beat all of them. So he's coming forward and yeah, he's gonna get a nice little downhill charge and let's see where he wants to go. I feel like I have enough warrior monks to deal with this, so let's just kinda go all in right here. Kill the Kensai, you, and then you go in as well. And then I may as well, uh, yeah, get these warrior monks going in, going in as well. Oh, it'd be so lame if like one of my archers just killed him. <laughs> like, like seriously. And then, yeah, let's just get everyone else that's not a warrior monk going in here after these archers. I don't want them to friendly fire too much here. I kind of just want you to go in. Archers, please, please, please do that. Well, this is it. So my archers are shooting at these archers. I got some spears rushing in and yeah, warrior monks are fighting their Kensai and here he is. He's putting up a big fight. It's kind of silly how his model is like twice the size of, of an actual model for one of my guys or, you know, a normal sized soldier. But you know what? There we go, you know, single entity model. It was not invented by Total War Warhammer, it was invented actually in Shogun 1. Who would have thought? Hey, stop, stop shooting. Come on, guys. Come on, guys, no need to, you know, shoot your own guys here. Who else is shooting? Who, who's shooting? Go stop, stop, stop shooting at your own guys. How are these archers doing? The archers are fighting hand-in -hand combat. You know, they're putting up a fight. And yeah, the Kensai is still going, so. Let's see, probably time for me to speed up time a little bit here. Oh, and he is dead to my warrior monks. And with him dead, the five archers are now running away. And you, hey, you know what? We actually got a little bit of a fight there. That wasn't bad. That wasn't too bad. I'm kind of glad I was able to get a fight in because it was, uh, yeah, so I was kind of, I thought it was going to be kind of sad, kind of having a, the final, like, third of the map. Just wait. Is there another unit hiding? Oh, no. No, there's no more units somewhere. Are they over here in this forest? God damn it. Oh, damn. Okay, well, yes, here we are. Some Notachi Samurai and a uh, Spearman. So, that's not nothing. I need to actually get my guys formed up. Oh, yeah, you, got, <laughs> you, you guys need to like get back here. Quickly, quickly, quickly. You guys need to get back here. You guys are about to get eaten alive by Spears and Nodachi Samurai. 
So yeah, for you know that I was just gonna like honestly just send my guys in without any tactics or anything, but for a Nodachi Samurai and a Spearman, I'm actually gonna have to kind of get in formation again, you know, actually get ready to uh, do this the right way. Oh crap! They're not gonna make this easy. God damn it! Okay, well in that case, ah, I I think I need to like discharge them. And hopefully I can break them. Just charge him. Hold back my general, obviously. I don't want him to get lost in this. But, yeah, I think I need to send my light cav forward to try to engage the enemy. And then, yeah, I just kind of hope that my infantry catches up in time so that I can, you know, beat them. So, this is going to be bloody for sure. This is going to be very, very bloody. But, hopefully, this gives my infantry time to catch up. Yeah, they're going to do a lot of damage to my forces here, so. But yeah, there's just not a lot of time left on the on the uh, clock. And I don't want them to continue running away from me, so this is going to be the way the way it gets done. So, let's see. I can get my general, perhaps, off to the side, maybe. Maybe I can get some shots in from over here. Get a little bit of flanking going. A little bit. Not too much flanking, obviously. Kind of being dumb about this, but... Let's see, Can Vulture's fighting Nodachi Samurai, and let's get, yeah, all the infantry is coming in. We got some more infantry coming in. Yeah, that should be good. And how are they fighting? Yeah, still a lot of Nodachi Samurai left. And a lot of, um, yeah, a lot of Spearmen left as well. They, yeah, this is going to be kind of tough. They're putting up a good fight here. And they got me kind of, you know, desperate. <laughs> Being desperate is not a good thing. You want to be confident that you can take the time to uh, do the fight the right way. And that's not something that I did. I kind of just charged right on in and look at the casualty bar. Like the kill ratio bar is just insane right now. So let's see. Do I send Yusuke Kenshin in for a charge into the rear of this spear unit? Uh, maybe I do. Maybe I do. That could help break them. That could potentially help break them. And if I can break these spearmen, then this whole left flank of my units can come help out with fighting these 32 no Dachi Samurai. I do have some warrior monks in there, but there's not a lot of game time remaining. And that's why I sent my general in to try to break these Yari Samurai. But man, they are just fighting. They are fighting to the last man. Jeez, oh, Pete. Yeah, man, this is a... This is a grind. An absolute grind. No Dachi Samurai down to 25 man. Let's see. Archers, you get in there. This is starting to get really, really close, guys. I mean, we are down to, what, five Yari Samurai? And now they are finally running away. Now we just have to get rid of these 10 No Dachi Samurai. They're running away as well. We just need to clean them up, and then this battle will be won. Guys, you, you gotta clean them up. There we go. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, bloody one. My oh my, bloody one for sure. Lost 567 and killed 587. So, not bad. Hey, I'm glad I was able to get a battle in before this campaign ends. And that should be it, I think, actually. So, see, my province is conquered. And do I actually have to finish the siege? I don't think I do. Do I? Or do I just have to press enter? This whole map is mine, so... Let's just, um, hmm. do I not have any more ninjas left? <laughs> All of my ninjas have died trying to open castle gates. What a worthy cause. Well, yeah, I think, I think everything's, I don't think I need to finish this. How long is it going to take? Uh, two, two years? My God. Um, I mean, how many people are in there? 13? Okay, that's, that's fine. I can just do this. End the siege, and I can auto-resolve that. There we go. And that is it. Total victory. My forces have, have destroyed all opposition. And I now control the whole of Japan. I am now Shogun. With final victory secured, the dominance of our clan could not longer be disputed. Faced with our invincible armies, all Japan was forced to accept the supreme leadership of a single daimyo. The heritage of our clan 
supported the legitimacy of our noble lord to declare himself Sei Taishogun, and thereby to found a dynasty which would determine the future of Japan and guarantee the immortality of our honor. There are some fools who did not accept the supremacy of the new shogun, but the battles which we fought to crush their insolence did not threaten our survival as had the great battles of the past, but merely ensure that the skills of our samurai remained honed to the field of war. All the wealth of Japan flowed to the shogun, and he used it to raise mighty castles. The greatest of these was the fortress at Edo, which became the hub from which the shogun's power radiated to even the most distant provinces. Former rivals were obliged to march from every corner of Japan to subjugate themselves before the shogun. Every warrior was now under his direct control. And if any thought that the shogunate was repressive, then they were shrewd enough to keep these thoughts to themselves. All aspects of life were guided by the will and wisdom of the shogun. He encouraged the samurai to train in the arts of writing and painting as well as the way of the warrior, while the emperor himself was freed from the destruction of day-to-day -day power. The order of society rested on strict enforcement of the social hierarchy. The peasants were reminded of their obligations at the point of assault and were soon convinced to settle into their jobs of growing, making, carrying, breeding, and paying taxes for the shogun. Once again, Japan became a land for the Japanese and there was no longer any need for the foreigners' strange superstitions or their coward weapons, and they were not missed when the bamboo curtain descended. Under this firm hand, Japan was never again torn apart by ambitious and grasping rivals as it had been during the Sengoku time. United, the nation thrived, and the sons of the shogun continued to rule by obeying the traditions set down by our forefathers for hundreds of years. in battle, a legend. Well, there we have it. That is my seventh and final uh, faction, or my campaign played, on the Sengoku Jedi campaign here in uh, Shogun Total War. This is, uh, this is, of course, the game that I started my channel on, and it's been um, a little over two years since I've been doing that, and now I will be switching over to Medieval Total War. I already have a few videos out if you haven't seen those by now. Ch check them out if you're interested in some Medieval Total War. So, as I said, the focus of my channel will be switching over to Medieval, mostly, but I will still have some stuff to play with Shogun here. I do want to play as the Hojo during the Mongol invasion campaign. That is something I'm looking forward to doing as well. And then after that, we will see. I do want to do some Eras campaigns eventually, but I don't know if I'm going to jump right in, right on into that, or if I might take a little bit of a break from uh, Shogun campaigns. We will see. Um, in any case, this has been quite the journey. I, As I said, I was on vacation for a couple of weeks, and it was, it was quite the time to be on vacation because I was so excited to get these videos out from Medieval, which I... Luckily, I was able to pre-record all of them uh, before I went on vacation. So, well, when I was on vacation, I was just kind of watching like the interest in medieval really grow, and my subscriber count really, really grew. I mean, for me, that is. I have a very, very small channel, but for me, my subscriber subscriber count really grew a lot in the two weeks that um, I was gone, and it was it was crazy. It was just really, really something to watch. That I'm almost at 200 subscribers now, and that was. I think I got like 30 of those in the last two weeks. Close, close to 30 in the last two weeks, which is pretty, pretty insane for me. But with all that being said, um, Shogun still is a game that obviously has a huge place in my heart. I did not grow up with Shogun. Shogun's not a game that I played 
I was 13 when it came out, and I just I wasn't into video. I wasn't into PC games. I was playing Nintendo games back then. I just wasn't one of the smart kids that could play, you know, keyboard and mouse. But I um, I wanted to uh, start this channel and play some Shogun just because no one else had on YouTube. Um, no Shogun playthroughs existed, so I wanted to be the person that did that. And uh, yeah, it's been quite the journey. And as I said, I'm excited about Medieval, but. There's a little bit of a sadness to be leaving Shogun behind. Not quite yet. I'm not, you know, like I said, I still have at least one more campaign left. But that's going to be it for the Sen Sengoku Jedi campaign, which is, of course, kind of the hallmark. That's the the uh, primary campaign that you play when you play Shogun. But in any case, yeah, that's uh, that's really been a journey. So I just want to say for those of you who've been watching, whether you're a new subscriber or an old subscriber, um, whether you comment on my videos or not, you know, if, if you're enjoying this, if, if you're enjoying it, I'm just glad that you're enjoying it because I'm enjoying it as well. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you very, very much for, you know, watching and hanging out and talking about this game with me. So that's going to be it for this video, obviously. So I will see you in the next one where I'll be starting up the next campaign. So with all that being said, I've been kind of stiff. This has been Shogun Total War. Thank you very much and goodbye.